Irini Pasi. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and then brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, <coughs> the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. O oh, Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray to hear the mercy of God. Prayers of our sins, for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the works of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men, the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, taking them away from us and from all your people. From this church, from this your holy place, those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions <coughs> and upon all the powers of the enemy. <laughs> Oh no, Ecosmosevolite Silvia, <laughs> 
As God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sick among your people. Pray for our fathers and brothers who are sick with any sickness, whether in this place or in any place, that Christ our God may grant us with them health and healing and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. You have visited them with mercies and compassions. Heal them. Take away from them and from us every sickness and every malady. The spirit of sicknesses chase away. Those who have long lain in maladies raise up and comfort. Those who are afflicted by unclean spirits, set them all free. Those who are in prisons or dungeons, exile or captivity, those who are held in bitter bondage, O Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. <clears throat> For you are he who loosens the bound and uplifts the fallen, the hope of those who have no hope, the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint heart of the harbor of those in the storm. All souls that are distressed or bound, grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest. Grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation. Grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us too, O Lord, the sicknesses of our souls heal. Also those of our bodies cure. O you, the true physician of our souls and bodies, the bishop of all flesh, visit us with your salvation. Lord have mercy. honor and glory of your holy name. Pray for those who provide the, for the sacrifices, offering fruitful oil, incense, coverings, reading book, and altar vegetables that Christ our God may reward them in the heavenly Jerusalem and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy. Receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense before your greatness in the heavens. Through the service of your holy angels and archangels, as you have received the gifts of the righteous Abel, the sacrifice of our father Abraham, and the two mites of the widow, so also receive the thank offerings of your servants, those in abundance or those in scarcity, hidden or manifest, those who desire to offer to you but have none, those who have offered these gifts to you this very day, give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible, the heavenly instead of the earthly, and the eternal instead of the temple, all their houses and their stores, fill them with every good thing, surround them, O Lord, by the power of your holy angels and archangels, as they have remembered your holy name on earth, remember them also, O Lord, in your kingdom, and in this age too, leave us not be. Lord have mercy. Let us praise with the angels, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and love towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you, we confess you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God the Father, one creator. Only, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O the Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O you who takes away the sin of the world, and receive our prayers unto you, who sits at the right hand of his Father, have mercy on us. You only are the Holy, you only are the Most High, my Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God the Father, Amen. Every day I will bless you and praise your holy name forever and unto the ages of all ages, Amen. From the night season my soul wakes early unto you, O my God. For your precepts are a light upon the earth. I was meditating on your ways to really become a helper unto me. In the morning you shall hear my voice. Surely I will stand before you and you shall see me. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, who is 
born of the Virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy mortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy mortal, who rose from the dead and sent to us, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and ages of all ages. Amen. O holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, forgive us the sick of your people. Hear the for sake of your name. Our fathers and brethren have fallen asleep. O Lord, close our souls. You have passed in the Lord, mercy us. You have passed in the Lord, mercy us. You have passed in the Lord, mercy us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, make us worthy to pray thanks for you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is King and the Father. In very soul, see, so spend, choice, and mean, and little, yes, share in it, and to your own, so have it, men all, and to our birth, and also, and say, and if you must not, it's more than the Christos. Let our prayers and our love, it's an Amy real as our sins. Truth, it was me, see, non, and be on in top of me, the Christos, be not, it's your birth, and also, so well. As the Lord, our bed, the Amy, and mercy, our soul, as the Amy, as our sins. The birth, and also, more, and the other causes, so have the prostate, it, and hot, and even gain, and the team, and throw me. Intercede, our bed. Yes, I 
despise my ignorance. For you do not desire the death of a sinner, rather he returns and lives. Have pity upon my weakness, and do not look me in anger. I have sinned, O Jesus, my Lord. I have sinned, O Jesus, my God. O King, do not count the sins which I have committed. I ask you, O my Savior, let your mercies come to me, and save me from the troubles that come to my soul. Do not send me to the fire for my ignorance like Sodom and likewise do not destroy me like Gomorrah. But O oh my Lord, deal with me like the people of Nineveh, those who have repented and you forgave them their sins. But may your mercies come unto me quickly, that I may proclaim with those people with an unceasing voice. Wherefore I entreat you, O Lord God, my Savior, do not judge me, I the weak and sinful, but rather absolve and remit my many iniquities as a good one and lover of men. Have mercy upon us according to your great mercy. The pure turtle dove who declared in our land and brought to us the fruit of the Spirit. That that dove has announced to us the peace of God for mankind. He is Jesus, the begun of the Father. He was born of you for us, setting free our race. Our Lord Jesus Christ, before yourself within us, the temple of your Holy Spirit, glorifying you. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. God sends unto us his mercy and compassion, to the supplications of Michael the Great. Archangel. All good honor and every perfect gift comes to us from an eye from the Father of life. Intercede on our behalf, Holy Archangel Michael, the heavenly that he may forgive us our sins. And we smell the sin a long time ago when we heard about you from our father by your youth, but the grace of God was on your face, so he put on you the scheme of man and asceticism. For your great bodily toil, so your spirit became a temple of the Holy Spirit. The light of your life illuminates our way, and your pure spirit entreats for our soul. Your life is amazing, and your struggle is great. Your splendor is exalted in the heavens. Are you indeed our holy, righteous Father of
the shield, the anchor, and the beloved of Christ. Praise to the Lord on our behalf, our holy, righteous Father. Abba, Messiah, the anchor, and that he may forgive us our sins. Subin tore, sum segon, came at your seat, and he told you to listen to the lenti, the auto, cost them, Martha's and Sayon. Ask of him whom you have borne our good, Savior, to take away our troubles and grant us his peace. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. We exalt you, the mother of the true life. We glorify you, Saint of the Otokos, for you have brought forth unto us the Savior of the world. Glory be to our King, Christ the pride of the apostles. We proclaim the Lord should name one God and we worship him and glorify him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, and Lord bless us on that. We believe in one God, God the Father, from his cry to create of heaven and earth and all things he not see. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God, true God, begotten not created, but one of the Father, by whom all things are made. Who for us men for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated in the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary and became man, and he crucified and promised from much pride, suffering was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, he sent him to the heavens, he said to the right hand of his father, he is coming again to glory, but to judge the living and the dead, but his kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of life giver, who proceeds from the Father, from the Father and the Son, who is much more glorified, who is spoken by the prophets, in one holy Catholic Holy Church. We Shen hit harun. Visit us with your salvation and forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, Remember also, O our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, the salvation of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Alleluia. If his motto 
Gott in Jeviath Neo, Hanefranum of Choice in Teningum, Kiri of Logi, so Nectocata, Matheo, Nogio, Evangelio, Tornagonos, Mars, Stand with the fear of God. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessing be with us. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet, uh, may his blessing be with us. Amen. will love you, O Lord, my strength, the Lord, and my firm support and my reverse and deliver. My God is my helper. I will hope in him. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. And any and any will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not perfected? And your name cast out demons, and your name is and done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I will never you, I will never knew you depart from me who you have practiced lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will list, I will liken him to wise man who built his house on a rock, and the rain descended, the flood came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Now everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not to them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it flew and, and it fell and the great was its fall. And so it was when Jesus has ended these sayings that the people was astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as ones having authority and not as the scribes. Glory be to God for ever. <speaking in Hebrew> O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil, and Christ Jesus our Lord. And where is Sosi suspend choice? And Obion so Kiria. Irene Posi. Master Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son and Logos of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through his saving life giving sufferings, who breathed in the face of his saintly disciples and holy apostles, said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they're forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now also, our Master, you have given grace through your holy apostles to those who for a time labor in the priesthood of your holy church to forgive sin upon the earth, to bind and loose every bond of iniquity. Now also we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for your servants, my brethren, the deacons, your people, and my weakness. As we bow our heads before your holy glory, dispense to us your mercy, loose every bond of our sin. If we've committed any sin against you, knowingly or unknowingly, through the anguish of our hearts, deeds, words, or from faint heartedness. O Master, you know the weakness of humanity. As a lover of mankind, God grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us, fill us with your fear, straighten us for your holy good will, for you are our God. Min Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Amin Alego Yazuk Salatri, Eyo Kere Agyom Nermati Kenikai, Kestos Eon 
O King of Peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins, for yours is the power, the glory, the blessing, and the might forever. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespassing against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom. Now may the love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Then The praises and prayers of the third and sixth hour of this blessed day were offered to Christ our King and our God, beseeching him to forgive us our sins from the Psalms of our teacher David the prophet and King. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. Holy, holy, holy reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. When the comfort of the Holy Spirit from the Father was sent in my name is come, 
He shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If, I, if you love me, you will rejoice, because I said I go, on, I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I, and, and now I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, you might believe I will, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandments, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the, wor through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us, your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you send forth upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour. Do not take away from us, O good one, but renew him within us. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, who sent on your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving Spirit, Spirit of prophecy and chastity, a Spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority. O the Almighty One, for you are the light of our souls. O you who give light to every man that comes into the world, have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace with the apostles, for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way, for he is God of our salvation. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is present in all places and fills all the treasury of good things and the life giver, gracefully come and dwell in us and purify us from all defilement, O good one, and save our souls. Just as you were your disciples, O Savior, and give them peace, graciously come also and be with us, grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we are considered standing in heaven. O Theotokos, you are the gate of heaven, open for us the gate of mercy. Holy mighty, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead, and sent to heaven, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, in the age of all ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. Lord, this is sick of your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brothers have fallen asleep, all of our souls. We are thou, Lord, have mercy on us. We are thou, Lord, have mercy on us. We are thou, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thy kingdom, the power of the Lord forever. And to you we ask your same full glory and ever virgin voice, the Lord of Christ. Lift up our prayers unto the Lord, so that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our word we have that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, the faithful advocate before all mankind, intercede on our word we have before Christ and you bore that he may grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us, Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Look, Sasio, Theo, Simon, holy, 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 a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessing be upon us all. Amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who... 
for our few security for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you who they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice in me exceedingly, God, for great is your reward in heaven. So, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown on, out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor a light on a lamp, but put under a basket, but not on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us. O you who on the sixth day and the sixth hour were nailed to the cross for the sin which our father Adam dared to commit in paradise. Tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and save us. I cry to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer. Do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and he hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. O oh, Jesus Christ, our God, who were nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed sin by the tree, and by your death you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions. By the nails of which you were nailed, rescue our minds from the thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos the Virgin. For abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior, O Holy Mother. Do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore. For he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. <laughs> salvation in the midst of all the earth. O Christ our God, as you stretch holy hands on the cross, therefore all nations cry, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. Asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God, for oh, oh, your, oh, your will, you were pleased to be lifted up unto the cross to deliver those whom you created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry out unto you and give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy, O Savior, when you came to help the world, Lord, glory be to you. You are shields full of grace, O Theotokos, the Virgin. We praise you, for through the cross of your Son, Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead. But we are raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. We exalt you, the mother of the true life. We glorify you, the saint and gift of us. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our master, our king. Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the prayers of the church, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Spirit in one Godhead. We worship him, we glorify him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, amen. Truly we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, begotten of the Father and for all ages, light of light, true God, true God, true God begotten and not created, of our sins of the Father, from whom all things are made, who for us man for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man. And he was crucified for us in a flesh of He suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of his Father. And he's coming again in his glory. The judge will leave the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who receives from the Father, from the Father and the Son, is the worship and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And in one holy Catholic and Catholic church, we confess our baptism and remission of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lamb of God, the meek, who carries the sins of the whole world, hear us and have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, have mercy, O Lord. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory and honor, honor and glory. To the All Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only Holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Remember, O oh Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Alleluia, Zephnevi, and Oromi, and Feon, Henat, Evole, Epsois, Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. Blessed be God the Father, the Banto Krator. Amen. Blessed be his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Son, one is Holy Spirit, Amen. Blessed be the Lord God.
God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Allow him all you peoples. For his mercy has been strengthened toward us. And the truth of the Lord abides forever. Amen. Alleluia. Books have a tree. And with your spirit, let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplication and prayer of his saints for that which is good on our behalf and at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace. With your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the works of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men, the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, from this table, from this your holy place, those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. the one only holy catholic and apostolic church from the mouths of the twelve apostles the beholder of god the evangelist saint mark the holy apostle and martyr 
the Patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, Dioscorus, St. Athanasius, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr, and Archpriest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, from the mouths of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, the 200 at Ephesus, from the mouths of our Archpriest, Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop, Abba Peter, and from my own mouth being the least, for blessed and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of all ages. Amen.
servant of our Lord Jesus Christ called to be an apostle appointed to the gospel of God a chapter from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Romans his blessings be with us all amen let every soul be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are appointed by God therefore whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is in God's minister, an avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for con conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers attending continually to this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, fear to, who, to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet. And if there is any co other con commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does not harm to a, to a neighbor, Therefore, love is a fulfillment of the law. And do this knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness, and let us put the armor of the light. Let us walk properly as in the, as in the day, not in reverly and drunkenness, not in licentious and lewdness, not in strife and, and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its loss. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the Epistle of our Teacher, St. James. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, 
when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the, world, by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of, fruits, of first fruits of his creatures. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Do not love the world or the things in the world, but the world is passing away and it's lust. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. of our fathers, the pure apostles, who are invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. So when, we, when, so when we, he had given permission, Paul stood on the stairs and motioned with his hands to the people. And when there was great silence, he spoke to them in the Hebrew language, saying, Brethren and fathers, hear my defense before you now. And when they heard that he had spoken to them in the Hebrew language, they kept all the more silent. Then he said, I am indeed a Jew born in Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up into the city at the feet of Gamaliel, taught according to the strictness of our father's law, and was zealous toward God as you all are today. I persecuted this way to the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest bears me with, with, with witness and all the counsel of the elders, from whom I also received letters to the brethren, and went to Damascus, to bring in chains even those who were there to Jerusalem to be punished. Now it happened as I journeyed and came near Damascus at about noon, suddenly a great light from heaven shone around me, and I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. And those who were with me indeed saw the light and were afraid, but they did not hear the voice of, who, of him who, was, who spoke to me. So I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said to me, Arise and go to, into Damascus, and there you will be told all things which are appointed for you to do. And since I could not see for the glory of the light, being led by the hand of those who were with me, I came into Damascus. Then a certain Ananias, a devout man, according to the law, 
having a good testimony with all the Jews who dwelt there, came to me, and he said, and he stood and said to me, Brother Saul, receive your sight. And at that same hour I looked up at him. Then he said, The God of our fathers has chosen you, that you should know his will and see the just one, and hear the voice of his mouth. For you will be his witness to all men of what you have seen and heard. And now why are you awa or waiting? Arise and be baptized, and wash your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. The word, the word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today is the eighth day of the blessed month of Paramotep. May God begin it in goodness, renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord. O my brethren, amen. On this day of the year 68 AD, St. Matthias the Apostle was martyred. He was born in the region of Galilee, followed the apostles, and was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot during the apostolic assembly in the upper room of Zion. Our teacher, St. Peter the Apostle, stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, Men and brethren, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus, for he was numbered with us and obtained a part in this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out. And it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, so that field is called in their own language, Ekeldema, which is the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no one live in it, and let another take his office. Therefore, of these men who had accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. And they proposed to Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, and he might go to his, that he might go to his own place. And they cast their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Afterwards, St. Matthias was filled with the Holy Spirit that descended upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost. He preached the gospel in Judea, Samaria, and Cappadocia, and it was also said that he went to the country of the cannibals. He went on preaching the gospel until he reached the city of Bardis, where he preached the gospel, and, but they seized him for its people did not accept the word and imprisoned him. St. Matthias prayed, interceding to the Virgin St. Mary, who came on a cloud. When she entered the city, all the iron therein melted as wax. She went to their prison, released St. Matthias the Apostle and all those who were imprisoned with him for the sake of the faith. When the governor of the city heard about what had happened, he requested to see the Virgin St. Mary. Matthias the Apostle the Virgin St. Mary, she came to him along with St. Matthias the Apostle, and she healed his son who was possessed. The governor and all the people of the city then believed. St. Mary prayed, and all the iron changed back to its former state, and she went up to on a luminous cloud. St. Matthias baptized the people of the city and tarried there, teaching and confirming them in the faith. He was confident of their faith. He left them to resume his evangelism. St. Matthias went to the city of Damascus and preached there in the name of the Lord Christ. The people of the city became angry, seized, and tormented him. They laid him upon a iron bed. They lighted a fire. They lit a fire under it, which did not harm him, but his face was shining like the sun. They marveled exceedingly, and they all believed in the Lord Christ at the hands of the saints who baptized and ordained priests for them. He tarried many days with them, confirming them in the faith. When he returned to Jerusalem, the Jews stoned him, so he was martyred, and thus received the crown of martyrdom. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also was the departure of St. Julian, the 11th Pope of Alexandria. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. On this day also was the martyrdom of St. Arianus, the governor of Encina. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. On this day also was the departure of His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, the 117th Pope of Alexandria. May his holy blessings be with us all. Glory be to our God forever. Amen. Amen.
Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you have seen and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act to according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our master, all those who have bidden us to remember them and our supplications and prayers, which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Ata Matheon Agio, Evangelio Tonarnus Marsikere, stand in the fear of God, and let us listen to the whole holy gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew the Evangelist. May his blessing be with us. From the Psalms of teacher David the prophet and the king may his holy blessings be with us amen to you O Lord I lift up my soul O my God I trust in you let me not be ashamed show me your ways O Lord teach me your path Bless you, 
blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is due glory forever. Ah, For yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, then your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds on the air, for they neither sow or reap, nor gather into barns. Yeah, your heavenly Father feeds them, and you are not of more value than they. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to a stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil or spin, and yet I say to you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the first Sunday of the Holy Great Lent, of the Great Fast. And as we mentioned a bit last week, I want to remind us all, this period of the year is like military boot camp. This is the time when I'm supposed to really bunker down and take things more seriously than ever. This is not the time for us to 
have parties. This is not the time for us to do big celebrations. This is just not the time, because that's time wasted. There's nothing wrong with celebrating, nothing wrong with these things. I'm not specifically saying about anybody. But in general, how I am relating to the world really needs to be focused on this year, this time of the year. And I'm bringing this up because the church and her wisdom during the first week, each, as you know, for the Holy Great Fast, we have a total of eight weeks, but the last week is Holy Week. So these first seven weeks, there's a specific theme to kind of help you carry yourself throughout the rest of the week until the next theme. And the church in her wisdom for this first week knows that this is the hardest week. For those of you that have already started fasting, you know this is the hardest week. For those of you that have fasted many times in, your, in the past years, you know this is the hardest week. If you're a priest like myself, you know this is the week that you get the most phone calls. You get the most desire for confession. It's not a coincidence. This is always how it is every year. Remember in the wisdom of Sirach, as it says in the Old Testament, he says, my son, when you draw near to the Lord, expect what? I heard someone whisper it. Expect what? When you draw close to God, you should expect something to happen. Not eternal life. Temptation. My son, my daughter, when you draw near to the Lord, expect temptation. It's not going to be easy. That's expected. And so I want to remind us all, that's just another reason for us to fight harder against sin. So this first week, the church gives us the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6. And our Lord says, do not lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. This is a bit of an old English term because laying up treasures for something means I'm going to like bury treasure, right? It's, it's that kind of mentality. Why would someone bury something valuable as treasure? Because they're saving it. They're investing in something in the future, and that investment will show up later. And then I can, I can get the treasure out and use it. And our Lord is saying, if you're going to invest in something, invest in your heavenly life. Invest in your relationship with God. And this is not supposed to be taken as, oh great, another reminder to be close to God. Be very careful. Our Lord does not say, you know, all the sin in your life is what's causing you to not invest in God. He's not saying this here. Usually there's, that's what we tend to think. We grow up as kids in Sunday school, we grow up in the church, and we think as long as I can get over my sins, then just automatically I will be close to God. And this is not the case. Sometimes there's things in our lives that we are attached to that are not bad in and of itself but they are keeping me from investing in my heavenly life. They are keeping me from laying up treasures in heaven. And our Lord gives a few examples here. The first one that he gives, which is in this uh, Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6, number, uh, verse 25. He says, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life. Right there off the bat, is it a sin to worry about something? Is it a sin to be concerned? It's not. But sometimes, the worry that I have means I'm too attached to it. I'm constantly worried about my future. I'm too attached to my future. I'm constantly worried about what people think about me. I'm too attached to people's opinions. All of these things by themselves are not wrong. But when I have this strong connection to them, it actually pulls me away from being connected to God. And I think we tend to look over these things. We tend to look over those things in our life that we feel like, Let, they're not wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm going to focus on the big problems in my life, the big sins. But do not neglect these. Our Lord is saying, this is stopping us from investing the treasure in heaven. And I also want to just, a uh, very quick point. When our Lord says, invest in the treasures of heaven, He's not saying, go and you know, do a bunch of things for your entire life that's just good, so that, you know, hopefully you get into heaven. This is not what he's saying. What he's saying is when you invest in your spiritual life to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you get a taste of it now. You don't need to wait until we pass away to experience true unity with God. You can live this now. 
Some of you are sitting next to saints. Some of you are saints. And if you just spend time with each other, you'll see this. And you'll know this person is currently in heaven, even though they're sitting next to you. They're living the heavenly life. This is not something that happens after we pass. But again, our, our church, out of, out of her wisdom, is teaching us this first week is very difficult for those that have started fasting. If you haven't started fasting, prepare for that time to be when you start. It's okay. But the one thing our church reminds us of is the words of our Lord, which is do not be attached. This is the time to detach. This, even if it hurts, even if it struggles, even if it makes you worried, this is the time to detach. And so I challenge you all to sit for a bit and reflect. What are the things you are attached to? They may be inherently wrong, or they may be not so wrong. But don't worry about whether it's right or wrong right now. Worry about how am I attached to it? What's my relationship with it? Because that's what matters. That's what takes you away from God. If you have an unhealthy attachment to something, do not expect that you at the same time can have a healthy attachment to God. Our Lord says in the Gospel today, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. You either serve one or the other. You are either a student of one or the other. You are either a disciple of one or the other. And so this is the week to fully detach, completely break off this connection that we have to things that we shouldn't be connected to. And if you have no idea what it is that you're connected to to even begin, come and talk to the fathers of the church. Go and sit with your community. Go and sit with your family, people you trust, and ask them, what can I do to be better? How many times are we inviting criticism into our lives? By the grace of God, our church invites us to do this. We don't need to wait till people criticize us. We can try and find the weaknesses that we have and deal with them, crush them, and reattach to our Heavenly Father. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, and treasures on earth, but treasures in heaven. This is the time to truly take things seriously. I, I know I'm repeating myself, and I will do it for seven weeks if I have to. But this is the time. Do not let yourself be the same person at the end of these seven weeks. If you notice nothing's changed, something is monumentally wrong. That means I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I remind you all once more, as I said last week, the fast is not about food. Yes, we fast and we have dietary restrictions. This is not the focus. God forbid, I am trying to get away from my life of sin and I, all day I'm just sinning, as an example. And so I start my fast with like this zeal. I'm excited, I can't wait to get over the sin. But all I do is think about food all day long. God forbid this happens. God forbid that we think changing our diet means automatically I'm connecting to God. Do not be fooled. Don't fool yourself, be truly honest. You know your weaknesses. We know what we run away from. Many people, they'll say like, I don't really know myself that well. We know ourselves. We know what we struggle with and we know what we need to detach from. Lent is really all about listening to that knock on the door from the Holy Spirit. He's sitting there knocking, 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 telling you just do it already. Just detach. It's hurting you. It's causing pain. It's hurting those around you. Just attach. But what do we do? Shh. That's what we do. I'm not shushing you guys, forgive me. <laughs> this is what we do to the Holy Spirit. St. Paul says in his letters, this is quenching the fire of the Holy Spirit. It's throwing water on fire. It gets rid of it. But whether we like it or not, we, we know. We know ourselves. We know what we need to deal with. This is the week. It's this week. Make no excuses. In this week, stop worrying about how people see you. This week, stop worrying about whether you think you can overcome sins or not. Completely remove yourself. Focus on God and what he can do for you. I once heard a story from one of the early fathers that I'll share with you all and I'll end there. 
There was a, a certain uh, member of the church who was struggling with a sin. And this was a sin that he knew was wrong. And he went to this father and asked for advice about it. But he was still a little bit a part of him was like, I don't really want to believe it's wrong. I understand it's wrong as information, but I don't believe that it's wrong. I don't agree it's wrong. And this was their struggle. So they went to this father and the father said, it is wrong. It's not good for you. You don't have to believe it. Just end it. Detach. The person went away and they didn't do this. They ended up getting worse and worse into this sin without going into details of what the sin is because there's kids here. And this sin ended up causing the death of somebody, not that person, but someone very close to them. This person that they were in love with passed away. And so this person who was uh, running to this father went back to the father. Father, if only I had listened to you. If only I had detached, this person that I'm so, I, I love wouldn't have passed away. And the, the father told him something. He asked him a few questions. He said, my son, do you know how to pray? Can you just pray? And he said, yes. He said, can you attend the liturgy? Just once a week, that's it. He said, yes. He said, can you go and check in on people who nobody has to check on them? Yes. Can you give your tithes? Offer something to the church? Yes. Can you fast? Yes. And he went through question after question, and he said, yeah, I'm able and capable to do all these things. And the father looked him in the eye and said, focus on what you can do and let God take care of what you cannot do. Focus this fast on what you're able to add into your life. Do not make a goal of your fast. I want to remove sin. It's not a goal. It's not a goal. And this week specifically, ask yourself, what are the things worrying me? What are the things that make me have fear? What are the things that keep me detached from God? Even if it's one little tiny string of attachment, it's still an attachment. We must remove it, cut it, break it, and reattach to our God. And what's waiting for you, what's waiting for you when you reattach, is that God has been there the whole time, open arms, waiting for you to attach, begging, showing love constantly, but we have been quenching that, walking away from it. And forgive me, these words I speak to myself. So let us this week stop playing around and take it seriously. Because this, this might be our last time. God forbid we don't wake up tomorrow. God forbid we don't wake up next year. If this is your last fast, how would you do it? It wouldn't be about the food anymore. It'd be about the quality and the attachments that you have. May we all do this together and not by ourselves, but together, detach from the things in this world, help each other do this. That way we may reattach together to the body and become a member of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.
We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one as the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, on the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, I sent him to the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory, to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and the one who holds the Catholic and Catholic Church, we confess to a baptism and remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, ah, amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. O God, the great, the eternal, who for man and in corruption and death which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed. By the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, Savior, Jesus Christ, you have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostle. A greeting. Lord, have mercy. According to your goodwill, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all malice, and the remembrance of evil that entails death. Make us all worthy, O our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without falling into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ, Jesus our Lord. You who are Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. Offer, offer, offer an order. Stand with trembling. Look toward east and let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father.
Truly indeed it is meet and right. O you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon us who are lowly, who has created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, authorities, thrones, dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings praising continuously without ceasing saying let us attend the cherubim worship you and the seraphim formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets. In the last days you manifested yourself to us, we who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Saint Mary. And taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the And as a ransom on our behalf, gave himself up unto death, death which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold. On account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the uh, cross.
rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to their deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. He instituted for us this great mystery of godliness, for being determined to give himself up unto death for the life of the world. We believe. He took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life-giving. We believe that this is true. Toward heaven to you, O God, who are his Father and Master of every one, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, eat of it, all of you, for this is my body, my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is true. So the cup after supper he mixed it of wine and water, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. And gave it also to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, my blood which is shed for you and for many. To be given for the remission of sins, this do in remembrance of me. This is also true. Amen. For every 
time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, O Lord, we proclaim. and his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, <coughs> and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything. And in everything Worship God in fear and trembling We praise you, we bless you We serve you, we worship you into his holy body. I believe. Ah, amen. And this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. <coughs> Amen. Our Lord, God, and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> So worthy you are, Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and an inheritance with all the saints who please you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. In this church which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. <coughs> For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Patriarch Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop Abba Peter. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Higgins, priests and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants 
innocence and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, the Father, the salvation of this your holy church every place every monastery of our orthodox fathers Lord, have mercy. and those who dwell there in, in god's faith graciously accord O lord to remember the air of heaven the fruits of the earth the rising of the waters of the rivers seeds herbs plants of the field this year to bless the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, for the sake of the widow, orphan, traveler, and stranger, for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O oh, you give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too, having sufficiency in everything, always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring them. Lord, have mercy. As this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, Saint Mary, who truly gave birth to God, the Logos, and Saint John, the forerunner, Baptist and martyr, Saint Stephen, the archdeacon and proto-martyr, beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarch, Saint Xavier, is our teacher, Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius, the apostolic, Saint Peter, the holy martyr and archpriest. St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory the Theologian, St. Gregory the Wonder Worker, and St. Gregory the Armenian. The 318 assembled in Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the great of Antony, the righteous of Paul, the three saints of Amakari, and all their children, the cross-bearers. Our Father, Abba John the Higgin, our righteous Father, of Apishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications have mercy upon us all, and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon let those who read re 
side the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. Those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy. In the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we too, who are sojourners in this place, Keep us in your faith, grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be, it is from generation to throughout the way into your kingdom so that as in this so also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit peace be with you all and with Thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy church, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. The holy body. We worship your holy body. Precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ, the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. you all and with your spirit O Master Lord our God the Pantocrator who sent his only begotten Son into the world 
He taught us the law and the commandments written in the Holy Gospel. And he taught us that fasting and prayer cast out demons. When he said, this kind cannot come out by anything but prayer and fasting. raised Elijah to heaven and saved Daniel from the lion's den, fasting and prayer are those which Moses pursued until he received the law and the commandments written with the finger of God, fasting and prayer. Are those which the Ninevites pursued, so God had mercy on them and forgave them their sins, and he lifted his wrath away from them. the prophets pursued and prophesied concerning the advent of Christ many generations before his coming fasting and prayer are those which the apostles pursued they preached to all nations and made them Christians baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Fasting and prayer are those which the martyrs pursued until they shed their blood for the name of Christ, who confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate, fasting and prayer, are those which the righteous and the just and the cross-bearers pursued. They dwelt in the mountains and deserts and holes of the earth, because of their great love for Christ our King. Let us fast from all evil in purity and righteousness, and let us proceed forth to this holy sacrifice and partake of it with thanksgiving, so that with a pure heart, an enlightened soul, an unashamed face, a faith unfeigned, a perfect love and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, O God, the Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from the evil one. Christ is our Lord, for the kingdom of our Lord. Amen. 
Pembe Christo Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the All-Holy Father, one is the All-Holy Son, one is the All-Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen. I believe. Amen. 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 I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the last breath that this is the life-giving flesh of your only begotten Son, that our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate he gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment or twinkling of an eye given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true, amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the holy, immaculate, and heavenly Holy mysteries, Lord, have mercy.
Symbols of joy and alleluia, alleluia, Jesus Christ, fasted for us for days and for nights.
all price humans firstly stand then pleading for mercy in simplicity asking as one asking his neighbor in the time of need to lend him three loaves indeed. Love your enemies with affection. Care for those who cause you affliction. Pray for those who abandon you. Forgive your brother seven times. His to blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. Fear the trial on judgment day. Give alms and grace will come your way. For on the merciful day, he says, Mercy, blessed is he who gives abundantly. Continue for in the final hour, the obedient will rejoice with power, but the negligent and lazy will fear for his hour will not be easy. In that day there is great aid for merciless judgment's faith. It helps the people of the earth to rise to the highest level. Seek you shall find, ask and you shall be given of all kinds. Knock it shall be open to you. Have mercy on those who oppose you. Deep in your mercy with forgiveness. Pray night and day with humbleness. Like the tax collector, be your chest. In the liturgies, stand meekly to be blessed. Praise the Lord and exalt Him above all and glorify Him. Raise your hands towards heaven, our Father who art in heaven. Blessed are those who Show them. 
have mercy on Judgment Day. Be a help to those in time of need, the true currency of the heavenly, so that we may rejoice with the meek along with the heavenly sing and speak fast a spiritual fast from all iniquities be purified do not approach any uncleanliness nor care for the earthy things man's humility brings forth strength he who loses his life his life he will gain a seed must die and be buried so that much fruit will be its yield. Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and bless and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. Ask him the he lets you hear. Come, O oh, blessed of my Father, come to see the awaited kingdom from the institution of all creation. Praise the angels, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill towards men. King of peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins. For yours is the power, glory, blessing, and might forever. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses. We give those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for dying can power, glory forever. Amen. Now may the love of God the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you all. We have very few quick announcements, very quickly. So as you know, it is the Holy Lent. It is the great fast. And we have much more liturgies during the fast. And so this week, there's a liturgy every single day. As you can see on the screen, we have the, the Feast of the Holy Cross. As you know, we celebrate the Feast of the Cross twice a year. This will be for one of the liturgies, which is Tuesday morning, God willing. And that will be from 7 to 10, or sorry, excuse me, from 8 to 10. 
what the Vespers, the celebration of the Vespers for the Feast of the Cross will be the night before, which is tomorrow, and that will be at 6.30 p.m. So we have uh, liturgy every day except for Monday, technically. And then Wednesday liturgy is the normal Wednesday liturgy that we usually have, which is from 8 to 11. Uh, Thursday, we'll have a late liturgy just to encourage the fasting and the abstinence. So the liturgy on Thursday will be 4 to 7, as well as Friday will be 4.30 to 7. Um, on Saturday and Sunday, we'll have the regular schedule. Um, if you notice, Sunday is 8 o'clock now because we have a few extra hymns, a few extra things that we do during the Holy Great Fast. So please uh, keep that in mind for especially the deacons who would like to get their tonya blessed. A uh, reminder to the deacons, your tonya gets blessed twice, after matins and before the absolution. It should be after the absolution of the servant, speciani, around that time. Um, there's a deacons meeting today at 1 o'clock, God willing, in the, the church here. So please, deacons, you are required to attend. Uh, and then last, but, well, no, not last, St. Verena's service. This is the homeless serve. I need everyone's attention. Excuse me. Forgive me. Thank you. The St. Verena service is the service that was started by the fellowship. Um, and this is a service that is going out and outreaching and serving the homeless. And so if you would like to donate up supplies for those who are, their next service is the elderly, those who are elders in our community. Um, for those who are needy, please contact Nardine Nashid for, for info. And if you, if you need to find Nardine, I believe she's in the back. Um, we want to also thank the servants who, who organized the family meeting this last Saturday. As you know, there's a family meeting once every month. And so we thank the servants for their, for their service. God reward them. Last but not least, the church is going to do something new for Lent this year. We want to kind of encourage the church to do things together. So... Um, with the, the work of Abuna Dawood, and you can thank uh, his reverence for this. The church is going to start a biblical competition, okay? It's a very tiny thing, nothing too uh, serious, but it's starting today. Um, during each week, each Sunday, we will have a set of questions that will come from the books of 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, and they will be in English and in Arabic. And so the questions can be obtained in two different ways. If I can get Stephen to come and... Link the iPad for me, please, where Stephen is. And when he gets here, he's going to show a barcode. That's one way to get the questions. And then the other way is right behind uh, Deacon Beshoy Eskender, who is over here tying his shoe <laughs> in the white shirt. Behind him, you'll see a stack of papers there. And these are the questions as well. So if you want a hard copy, they're right there. If you would like the online copy, the barcode is right there. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I'm getting to it, yeah. Um, so these questions, you can answer them and then turn them in. The way that you turn them in is if you would like to, to turn them in on, in this church here, Stephen Melek will be receiving the answers. So if you need to find Stephen, please find him. If you can't find Stephen, go to Abuna Dawood. He will collect the answers if you, when you turn them in. If you also want to uh, turn them in in the Arabic church, John Moros will be collecting them there. So John Moros, Stephen, or Abuna Dawood as a last resort. And when you return the answers, every time that you have a delay, one day that you're delaying and turning in the answers, will result in a reduction of one point. So every time you answer it, you'll get a point. Okay? Yeah, let's have fun. We're being serious in Lent though, right? <laughs> so you'll, you'll either gain or lose a point. At the end of the Holy Great Fast, we'll collect all the points and Abuna Dawood has promised there's a big surprise for those that win. So please, um, if you'd like to participate, it should be fun. There's copies over there or the barcode right there. Last but not least, no, you can't do it in groups. <laughs> um, last but not least, actually, yeah, go ahead. Ask each other. Just don't use chat GPT, okay? Um, last but not least, we have the mission trip. The, the church has organized another, the second mission trip. Um, last year, they went to Namibia, and it was a very beautiful service. It deeply affected those that went and those that were being served. Um, so this year's mission trip, God willing, will be to Egypt. And the dates for it, I think, is August. You're presenting to it? Meshi, okay, to Father. Go ahead. So if we give, give your attention to Fadi, please. He will give the details for the mission trip. Thank you. I can pass out the baraka while he's doing this. Sorry, baraka. Hi, how is, how, how is everybody doing today? So last year we went to Namibia mission trip. Oh, okay, you guys can hear me now? Perfect, okay. Last year we went to Namibia mission trip. This year we're gonna go to Egypt. 
Uh, we did an amazing job with fundraising last year. We were able to fundraise uh, $41,000. Um, hopefully, if the thing works today. Uh, this year's... And, sorry. Okay. Um, with this $41,000, we were able to do a lot of stuff, including uh, the food that was supplied to the people over there, uh, building houses, um, uh, including all of the services and paying for the orphanage as well. We were trying to, this year to reach the goal for $35,000. And if we were able to reach it last year for 41, I'm pretty sure we can do 35 this year. Uh, we're still taking people if they're interested to come to the mission trip. You can reach out to George if you're interested to go there. Uh, there's going to be four fundraisings that we're going to be doing uh, this year. Oh, works not perfect. Okay. Those are the fundraising that we're going to be doing. There are only four fundraisings, but they can change um, based on what we're doing and based on other factors as well. Uh, we're going to be doing a car wash. We're going to be doing a 5K. We're going to be doing a bake sale. And we're going to do the last one. We're going to be a gala. Those dates uh, that we have there, specific dates will be determined. And we're going to be reached out to our fathers. And they will announce it after church as well. Um, here's the QR code if you guys uh, would like to donate uh, for the mission trip. Um, use that QR code and the posters are going to be all over church for the GoFundMe account. And also, we're going to be doing like last year, the donation boxes in, in both churches for clothes, for shoes, for anything that you would like to donate. And then we go through them as well. Um, and then the boxes, you'll see it here in this church, probably next to the front entrance and the other church as well. Anybody have questions? I Okay, thank you guys for your time. <laughs> Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The Son will show them mercy on judgment day. Fast a spiritual will fast. From all iniquities be purified. Do not approach any uncleanness, nor care for the earthly things. Man's humility brings forth strength. He who loses his life is life he will gain. A seed must die and be buried so that much fruit will be its yield. Ask him that he lets you hear. Come, O oh, blessed of my Father, come to see the awaited kingdom from the institution of all creation. Your earthly treasures are easily destroyed. By moth and rust they are made void. Gather for yourself the heavenly treasures and make case for war the true riches. Blessed are those who have mercy. Show them mercy. 
on Judgment Day, abound in tears from your heart of flesh, your covenant with God refresh. Beware of vain glories, evils, and submitting to the passions. The world's glory is like a flower which weathers and fades like thunder. Your charity offerings remain eternal. Set our 